As automakers strive to meet the demands of a rapidly changing world, they're bringing new technology, safety features, and design concepts to the forefront of their 2024 lineups. Here are the most anticipated new cars for drivers of all tastes and preferences. Kia EV9 Early 2024 is when the 2024 Kia EV9 is anticipated to appear. The 2024 Kia EV9 will be built on the EV6's popularity while being a big brother SUV with three rows. Interestingly enough, there will be five different trim options for the EV9 with a starting price of around $55,000. When built with max options, it should have roughly 400 horsepower and 480 pound-feet of torque. If you want the top potent version of this EV, those are not bad numbers for a three-row family SUV. For Kia, it's crucial to have a family EV in the fleet, as the auto industry embraces electrification more and more. That will be the 2024 Kia EV9. Depending on how the interior is set up, it will most likely have seats for six or seven people as a three-row SUV. Hyundai Kona Hyundai is now prepared to introduce the new crossover generation, which will hit American shores for the 2024 model year. There will be four different variants. Unsurprisingly, we are getting an EV version now. Then there is the purely combustion-powered, a hybrid, and the N-Line. Hyundai's designers first created the new Kona EV before incorporating the design into the other models. They all have a recognizable light bar along the edge of the hood up front. Below the strip, on the corners, are the headlights. The 2024 Hyundai Kona retains both of its four-cylinder engine from the previous generation. A 147-horsepower, 2.0-liter engine will be the base model, with a turbocharged 1.6-liter four-cylinder engine offered as an option. The hybrid drivetrain revealed for the Kona in other regions might also be available. Cadillac Celestic For many years, Cadillac has struggled to compete with European luxury brands. Still, it has persevered, as seen by the release of its new electric flagship, the new 2024 Celestic Luxury Sedan. Although this stunning vehicle resembles the new Lyric EV SUV, in terms of family resemblance, it stands out thanks to its slender lines, sweeping roof, and bustling rear end. The designers at Cadillac claim to have combined historical design cues with cutting-edge technologies that forecast the future course of the American luxury brand. The interior decor is equally dramatic as the exterior, and the cabin dazzles with vividly colored leather, a 55-inch digital dashboard, and bucket seats designed in the Ames style. A small group of artisans will hand out build each Celestic as the line assembles them. According to the EPA, the Altium battery pack that powers the Celestic is big enough to provide around 300 miles of driving range per charge. According to Cadillac, a 200 kW connection will give the battery a range of 78 miles in just 10 minutes. Mercedes AMG EQE SUV Mercedes unveiled a fully electric SUV that was the more potent AMG model, giving the five-seater up to 671 horsepower and 500 kilowatts. The two variants each have their own front fascias, while the standard EQE SUV has a closed-off grille with a star motive. AMG's face has vertical accents with a Panamericana grille-inspired appearance. The interiors of the two vehicles are similar and both come with the brand's optional hyperscreen display. Mercedes will also provide four trim levels for the Mercedes AMG EQE SUV from the base 350 Plus to the AMG. The rear wheel drive 350 Plus will have a single motor producing 288 horsepower, 214 kilowatts, and 417 pound feet of torque or 565 Newton meters. Mercedes will sell the 536 horsepower, 392 kilowatt EQE 500 SUV and the dual motor EQE 350 4 Matic. 
Customization will allow new Mercedes EQE owners to determine price as well as how long their vehicle can go when fully charged. Polestar 2 2024 will be a special year for both Polestar as a company and the new, upgraded Polestar 2. According to the company newsletter, the Polestar 2 will get an increase in power, range, improved sustainability and have a rear-wheel drive model optional. The 2024 Polestar 2 will be available in four main models, standard range single motor, long range dual motor with performance pack, long range single motor and long range dual motor. Polestar is increasing the EV's range for 2024. You could be getting as much as 395 miles in some variants. Still, charging rates are stuck at 205 kilowatts, unfortunately, a little slower than Tesla's supercharging speeds. Cadillac Lyric by far one of the most interesting luxury electric SUVs you will ever set your eyes on, the new Lyric is making a return in 2024 with interesting changes based on customers' feedback. The major update to the Lyric is the new trim levels. You get a base model tech trim, a mid-range luxury trim, and at the top of the class is the new Sport. The major differences among these three trims are more aesthetic than functional. You may be able to go with either and still be just fine. Choreographed exterior lights, illuminated door handles, and rain-sensing wipers are the kind of features you may be missing out on if you go for the base model. Interestingly, range estimates are lower than they were for the 2023 Lyric. Rear-wheel drive will offer around 308 miles, while you get one mile less on all-wheel drive at 307 miles. Performance is to be the same, with 340 horsepower on the single motor rear-wheel drive and 500 horsepower on the dual motor all-wheel drive variant. The 2023 model did not disappoint in performance, especially for a vehicle this size in the SUV class and we expect more of the same from the new Lyric. Good news is that the base stream level still starts at around $59,000. GMC Sierra EV Here is an all-new electric GMC truck that boasts pretty cool numbers in every category. The Sierra EV will be released in a single, most premium Denali Edition 1 trim. It will be powered by a dual-motor all-wheel drive setup that produces 754 horsepower. GMC confirmed that its Sierra EV will last for a total of 400 miles drive from a full charge, and its maximum towing capacity is set at 9,500 pounds. Combine these with the stunning exterior and luxury premium interior on the inside, and you will be paying around $100,000 for the 2024 GMC Sierra EV. Is it worth it? You can decide on it when it comes out very soon. Lucid Gravity The Gravity electric SUV is the logical next step after the release of the Lucid Air electric luxury sedan. The 2024 Lucid Gravity is anticipated to take what the Air offers, but adding a higher seating position, a more spacious cabin, an SUV design, and yes, a higher price. It will use the same tech as the Air. The Air sedan serves as the mechanical foundation for the Lucid Gravity SUV. We anticipate a version with dual electric motors and standard all-wheel drive. Like the Air, the Gravity will be available in a high-performance Grand Touring model with up to 1200 horsepower. However, a Sapphire variant with up to 1,000 horsepower is also possible. The most expensive variants, like the Air, will probably be the most potent, with lower-end gravity trims having lesser horsepower figures. The gravity's taller, more angular SUV appearance will likely be less aerodynamic. Range should be slightly reduced as a result, even though its sedan brother promises a driving range of up to 516 miles per charge of its 112 kilowatt-hour battery pack. The gravity should be able to charge quickly using DC fast charging, just like the air. It may include 
three years of free charging at Electrify America charging stations, plus still be eligible for federal tax credits for a couple more years. Honda Prologue While Honda may not have the most popular brand when it comes to electric cars, it does look like they are on the brink of a breakthrough with the 2024 Prologue SUV. The company has revealed what this SUV is like and not so much info on what it can do on the drive. The only thing we can say for sure is that its platform will be mainly collaborated with General Motors, so expectations are high for this one. Design-wise, the 2024 Honda Prologue already snatches a good grade. You are getting a pretty cool compact SUV that can offer more space than the smaller models without the bulk of a big-size SUV. A pretty interesting choice by the Japanese automaker. If you like a minimalist design, the Prologue makes a perfect choice. The concept models so far show off a great blend of functionality, aesthetics, and simplicity. We cannot wait to see what comes next, whether it's about $45,000 price tag. VinFast VF7 The VF7 is VinFast's response to the Toyota BZ4X, which suggests that it may end up being a possible best fan favorite of VinFast's electric SUVs. The VF7 should appeal to a wide range of electric SUV buyers because it is compact enough for confined urban environments but substantially large enough to compete on the open road. VinFast will be offered in Eco and Plus versions, just like the smaller VF6. 349 horsepower and 368 pound-feet of torque are anticipated to be produced by the more potent dual-motor all-wheel drive plus variant. Regarding the front drive, single-motor VF7 Eco expect the same 201 horsepower and 228 pound-feet of torque, but hopefully something more optimized to offer a little more punch. Details about battery pack capacity and EV system charging are not yet available. The VF7 will be marketed as an upscale electric crossover with options including premium vegan leather upholstery trim and a panoramic sunroof, a front LED light bar with animated effects and rear trademark LED lights are among its exterior features. Each VF7 will also be equipped with various active driver assistance systems. Mercedes-Benz EQG The Mercedes-Benz G-Class developed a reputation as an all-terrain vehicle over several decades before becoming a six-figure prestige symbol for celebrities. Now that gas-powered vehicles are becoming less popular, the G-Class is giving birth to the all-electric EQG. The EQG maintains the traditional G-Class boxy design and Mercedes claims it will continue to be a capable all-terrain vehicle. One electric motor is anticipated to be installed in each wheel of the 2024 Mercedes EQG and the battery pack will be integrated within a sturdy vintage ladder frame. Four individually controllable electric motors, one near each wheel, are expected to power the EQG enhancing both on- and off-road driving capability. If the design is any indication, the EQG will also include a two-speed gearbox that can be switched between for off-roading. Like the gas-powered G-Wagon, the EQG will have a stiff rear axle and a sophisticated independent front suspension that should improve on-road driving. This vehicle is already hard to find, and imagine trying to get your hands on an electric EQG now. Hyundai Ioniq 7 The 2024 Hyundai Ioniq 7, an all-electric SUV resembling the three-row Hyundai Palisade, is the new electric car Hyundai plans to use as a trigger for deep market penetration. This vehicle will have a sitting capacity of 7 or 8. The Hyundai Ioniq 7 model is one of the three new electric vehicles the company has already committed to releasing in the following years. There is no official word on the vehicle's release, although three trim levels might be anticipated. Because the company is concentrating on producing a vehicle that has a driving range of 300 miles minimum, it's expected that this vehicle will feature a huge 
usable capacity battery and a 350 kilowatt fast charger will be included. Pretty decent performance, but for a much cheaper price. Fisker Pair How would you feel if you could buy a really decent electric car from Fisker for around $30,000? Since its announcement last year, Fisker has continued to drop snippets regarding the Fisker Pair. Over 5,000 reservations that have already been made for this budget crossover, which will start at around $30,000, is a proof that the teasers are working. With around 250 miles of estimated range, most future payer owners will probably never need more than that. The anticipation and excitement are as intense as they could ever be. When Fisker Ocean became the highly anticipated Tesla Model Y alternative, we knew that the company could definitely make a smaller size AV for much cheaper than Ocean. At the moment, we do know that the design of Fisker Pair is pushing boundaries with its architecture, solar panel roof, and a Houdini trunk. The only hope right now is that Fisker won't raise prices due to supply chain cost spikes and so on. If Fisker was able to do it, then millions of new orders are destined to go there. Dodge Charger When the next-generation Charger goes on sale for the 2024 model year, it will be an entirely new car for the Dodge lineup. A four-door model will also be added to the roster, but we will learn more about either vehicle closer to their debuts. There will most likely be more trim levels for the 2024 Charger, but we only now know of three. The number of engines that will power the various streams of the new Charger is still to be disclosed by Dodge, but the base 340 model is expected to produce 455 horsepower, while the mid-range 440 models is expected to produce 590 horsepower. An all-wheel drive 800-volt architecture will be used by a high-performance stream known as SRT Banshee, although the model's horsepower capacity has yet to be disclosed. We also know that the initial prototype employs a multi-speed transmission rather than the traditional EV direct drive system. Strong acceleration also gives the driver the impression of a gear shift. Canoe The Canoe pickup takes the utility of all pickup trucks to a whole new level with its design, so the attention it has amassed over the last few years doesn't come as a surprise at all. Thanks to its being an EV, the company has taken full advantage of the pickup size to offer the best space for passengers, cargo, and a ton of bells and whistles. As we draw closer to its projected 2024 release date, there is bound to be more hype in the direction of this truck, and we cannot wait to see how it performs in reality. The range on the canoe pickup truck is set at around 400 miles, and it's also expected to put out a whopping 600 horsepower. Interestingly, the US Army was also attracted by the setup of the canoe pickup truck and has already ordered a fleet of modified versions. Moreover, companies like Walmart are interested in a cargo delivery version of the same pickup truck. More orders means the project is still alive and we should see the final production start very, very soon.